Malcolm Travers, the managing editor of M3. I am Trevor, and I am a contributor to M3 and also the techie. I'm Cecil. I am the entertainment editor, manage the uh, M3 Entertainment Group, and I also do the Walking Dead Hangout. Hey, everybody. I am Link Savage, the video blogger and social commentator for M3. Hey, I'm Gerald, one of the M3 contributors. Um, Facebook, social media activists make a lot of posts and videos. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hey, I'm uh, Breeze, the graphic designer and also a uh, editor and contributor. Thanks for showing up. But I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, He, who, who he himself is a bottom, okay? And it was like, it just, it kind of felt like every time there was anything, I was like, oh, well, check this out. Oh, oh, he's cute, but he's probably just a big old bottom. He wasn't saying it like, hey, I hope he's a bottom or any. He was saying it like with disdain. And I get it. Like, kind of, And I kind of get it where, like, you know, if you are a bottom and you're in the place where it seems like everyone's a bottom, you're like, well, fuck, everybody's a bottom. Blah, 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 blah. I get that. But at the same time, it brought up a whole nother thing where, and I mean, I, I, I'm guilty of it. I think a lot of people are guilty of it, where emasculating thing that kind of goes along with it. Mm -hmm. You know, like people, when, when uh, if a straight person really wants to insult another straight male, they'll say things like, oh, you probably take it up the butt. Like, okay, so That's why, <laughs> it just kind of came up, like, why do we even do this? And I just started thinking to myself about why we do it. And um, a lot of it's pretty obvious. Hmm. A lot of it's pretty obvious. I mean, you know, you have the internalized homophobia. Uh, you also have the fact that, you know, no matter how effeminate you are as a straight man, your your masculine card is given to you. Uh, there's also the idea that people are always trying to fit a gay relationship into a straight box. Mm -hmm. And you can't. You know, like people play the roles that they play, whatever, but, you know, I get, I get asked a lot, who's the man and who's the woman? And I'm like, neither of us are women. I hate to tell you this, but we're both men. That's what makes us gay. <laughs> and uh, when you stop and you realize what they're trying to say is they want to know who's getting fucked and who's not getting fucked. And it's all about that whole you must be feminine, you must be a woman, and they never take into account the tons of masculine men who are bottoms. Right. Or, you know, like, or versatile. Or versatile. Or, mm -hmm. or, or the ton of femme men who are tops. You know how many mm -hmm. drag queens I know who are tops? Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so the idea of bottoming as emasculine was just something that kept coming up and I kept noticing it where it was just like, well, why are you talking about being a bottom as if it's a shameful thing when you was a top? What are you going to do if there weren't no bottoms? You're going to be walking around in a sword fight and that's about it. Mm. <laughs> you know, you could joust. <laughs> so it's kind of like, why the bottom shame? Why sit there and try to talk about it like, like you're better than someone else because you're a top and they're a bottom? Yeah. Like, and, I mean, of course, it goes through the whole dominant versus non-dominant thing. And I'm like, once again, that's flawed. There's a lot of dominant bottoms out there who will take me, throw me on my back, and be like, you are going to give me what I want. And they will fucking take it from me. That's true. That's a pretty, that's a pretty masculine dominant bottom. But you know the two gay dudes that are on uh, Modern Family. Um, their both of their fathers were. On oh the show. yeah, last did you season. see that episode? Was yeah. that last season? Where they're like, why and, are you treating my son like he's lesser? Right, because they were they were only going to be comfortable if their son, their respective son, was the masculine one, and right. each of them were just they were mad at each other because each of the fathers treats the other, you know, the other the other partner like they were women. Right. <laughs> so because that's how they needed to be that's how they needed to be comfortable. Like I think um I think Cam's dad gave them a watch, like gave them each a watch. And Cam, because he, he's the bigger dude, had well, of course he's supposed to be the man or whatever, gave him the uh the, the man's watch. And, watch. <laughs> and the little redhead one had the little <laughs> the little, little woman's girl. watch. Wow. And it was really just I mean, that was a really, really good episode. That that show actually does tackle a lot of issues in a in a comedic way that I really, really appreciate. But I, um, I think that episode tackled that idea mm -hmm. which ties into this yeah, very absolutely. well because mm -hmm. it really did illustrate that 
your straight men don't have a field of relatedness. Right. And because right. they don't have that field of relatedness, they try to fit it into something they understand. But what a lot of people really don't get is that that's how we learn things naturally. See that that sort yeah. of that sort of thing just doesn't happen. We we when we learn things as infants, just you know, from a child development standpoint, we learn things as infants. The reason that sometimes you'll see a one-year-old call like. Have you ever taken a trip with a one-year-old and seen them drive um, by maybe a farm or, or a field and there's cows there and they'll point to it and say dog? Because that's how they're trying to fit that into that particular schema. That They know dog and they right. know a dog has four legs like that or they know a dog is shaped in that way kind of generally. So they'll call it a dog. Mm -hmm. We still do things like that when presented with new information. Yeah. So when we... So when we um, you know, get to all the gay stuff, and we see two men. One of them has to be a woman because that's all we know. So it has to fit in that particular schema to make ourselves feel comfortable. But as adults, I mean, that's not an excuse. As adults, you're responsible for changing your own schema. That that kid doesn't always think that that's a, a dog, that cow's a dog from this point forward. At some point, they do learn and they do change and they do adapt. So that's the responsibility of human beings. And that's where you get the whole idea that being that you know, if you're being penetrated, you're the submissive, instead of realizing that you might be the dominant. In fact, you might have all the power. Mm -hmm. I've got the power. We know we saw the pictures. Well, and that's and here's that's where power bottoms comes from, right? Yes, that's where power bottoms come from. <laughs> What is that? What? Wait. That's not where that comes from. I call them super bottoms. Like the lady on that commercial. That's not how any of this works. That's exactly where it comes from. That's totally where it comes from. Thank you for watching our video. Comment, like, and share our content. For more information, visit mailmediamind.com and click the about section.